It's the Adam Friedland Show, November 14th, 2022. Um, everybody, we're back. The regular episode this week was, it did have a video component. We recorded it, but the, I couldn't, the hotel Wi-Fi did not work, and I went to several places where I couldn't, uh, I couldn't upload it since it didn't finish exporting until, well, I had to go home, and then it stayed on my desktop, so I tried to upload it on my laptop. Mm -hmm. And that didn't work. So maybe we'll upload that onto the Patreon, but I'll have to give it wiggle room because if I upload it now, people are going to think that that's the, is the video version of the regular episode this week mm -hmm. is the Patreon content. And uh, someone, some, another person's going to poison my cat. What you happened? Poisoned your cat? Yeah, somebody poisoned... Somebody Somebody didn't like that the last episode was 57 minutes long, so they they gave my cat antifreeze. No, they didn't. Yeah, I mean, it's happened they a couple did. of times. Yeah. Wait, is the cat alive? Yeah. No, she's dead. No, she's not. She's dead, yeah. yeah. I've Are had, you serious? I've had family members murdered. Stop it. Yeah. yeah. I don't care about your family. The cat is alive, right? What? what? No, the cat's dead. What was that? Your family members are all fine. But I got a duck. I don't care What's about your on? family. I got a duck now. If that cat's dead, I'm leaving this room right now. The cat... The cat is unfortunately dead, but... Um, it's a cat. What? Yeah. This cat is my favorite cat. Well, hold on, I got a what duck. What about my family? I don't care your duck. Fuck your family. Is the cat alive? Why fuck my family? Yeah. Do, you, do you promise that his cat's dead? Pinky swear right, right now. That the cat is dead? Yeah. Y sure, yeah. Pinky swear. Okay, so I'll tell you what, folks. If you listen to the last one... So uh, I, I, we we were two steps forward, two steps back. That's uh -huh. the expression. Yeah. Uh, two steps forward. They, they call it the, yeah. the Parkinson yeah. shuffle. Uh, uh -huh. So there is video that should have gone up. It didn't. Uh, we're not we're not pivoting back to audio. We are continuing the video content. Okay. Uh, there's been a just a. a, a a, a we need to uh, do, just to realign executive functioning, basically. Sure. Because I started speaking to people, and I could only remember the words in Mandarin Chinese. Yeah. And I went, to a, I went to a neurologist, and they said, you're, you're doing too much content. You're doing the Des Bishop. <laughs> yeah. You've done, yeah, you've, done, you've, you've Des Bishoped yourself. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to remove one of your balls. Des Bishop, I, I need somebody to explain to me how it's not cancelable. I mean, I don't care. I would do Chinese voice but on stage if I could. I will say this. Okay. Um, the show is, is, in terms of structure, we're going to move forward. So, Jordan, thank, thank you for your concern about my cat, but we did not introduce the guest yet. Sorry. In, in the real, and when this thing is real, yeah. you'll be in the holding. Okay. You're having a, having a, a woman with a bunch of bangs. A blowjob. Uh, no. Oh. Well, if it's your show, if that's what you think, the guest should be blown. My or friend. You a bunch of bangs? I said a woman with a bunch of bangles, you know, just oh. barely moving your hair and getting paid $700 a day to do so. Yeah, yeah, My, yeah. Uh, you, know, you know, you ever do that show, with, like do any show that, that you have a, like a comedian on and they send you to hair and makeup? And because you're not an actor, the HMU people see you and they're like, you should oh, be yeah, ugly. we'll just, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. Stay ugly, please. Yeah, we'll just mist you real yeah. quick. Yeah. I'll just have a pink spray bottle with some mystery fluid in it. We're going to spray it on your face. No, what, I, what's I HMU? That's like a black college. Yeah. Hit me yeah. up. Hit, hit me up. That, these are the kinds of questions that when we have this show, you can't ask the guests. Why? Because they're not questions. They're setups for your own jokes. And that's the thing we're going to have to work on. Practice on me. B Go ahead. Big time. Ask me a question. Uh, what's uh, HMU? It means hit me up. It's when you want to get pussy... Pussy post midnight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought it's it was weird. uh black. You don't have a feminine affect at all until you say the word pussy. Pussy. Right? Yeah, but you well, say I have it, a bit of a lisp. Yeah, but you say it in a very yeah, in like a like like you're like vamping when you say the word pussy. You, you have a lisp pussy? is, is that like blue collar to Betty Boop the second you say fucking pussy. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say it? Pussy. 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 I don't know. Puss yeah. Pussy? Pussy. Pussy. Whoa, Can I what's get going some on? Pussy? That's how I say it. <laughs> I don't know what they tell you. That's the way I say the word. Now, Jordan, so, you, well, have real, real quick, you have a list. We'll come back. We'll come back to the guest segment. All right. All because, right. folks, this is the Adam Friedman I had show. a really good one. All right, but fine. We'll say it. We'll repeat it later. I'm going to remember. I'm going to circle back. We'll repeat it later. But, folks, All right. this is the Adam Friedland show. And like any talk show, mm -hmm. and now I've decided. You didn't bully me into it. I've decided. What I need for my own sanity is to get back to a place where I'm just focused on writing the monologue and the desk pieces, mm -hmm. and then let Ad after that, Adam can be the star of the show. 
but I wrote a monologue for tonight. And I can't wait, personally. Is that sarcastic? No, to be a star. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. You're going to be a star for sure. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. Um, so, it's the Adam Friedland Show. Well, you want to update them from our last episode? About what? Oh, yeah. We hired a producer. We have onboarded a producer. That's a big, Adam's been using mm-hmm. the word on board. On board. Probably every 30 seconds today. Yeah. On board, on with navigate, circle it's a, back. These mm-hmm. are all link yeah. jargon. It's, mm-hmm. Well, it's a, like a Navy term. Interface is yeah. it on board. Yeah, I'm at stage uh, Starbird right now. Oh, Starbird. Yeah. Adam okay. validates his, his experience as an adult not by zipping up his pants or not picking his nose. He mm-hmm. uses email words to, yeah. to feel like a grown-up. No, I, I validate it right through uh, meaningful relationships with the people I love. Cultivate. Well, I don't know about that. I'd do that if I could, but that's not my strong suit. My strong suit is writing monologues for the Adam Friedland that Show. Well, I, I feel like we have a meaningful relationship. Anyway, so it's the Adam Friedland Show. So, November. Jordan, you have a Hold list. On. We'll come back I to do. The Ready? I'll say the, th- the hardest thing for me to we'll say. come back. Social distortion. Did you hear it there? Yeah. Hmm. It's tough for me. Social because I have dude. the Simpsons Just list. say social D. Social distortion. Social mm. D. Social D. Yeah, there you go. Seriously, it's hard also. You got bad luck and you're fucking gay and everyone... Yeah, how's that song go? It's like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah everyone it's good. that... Are you shaving just right here? Yeah, it's mutton chops. You're leaving... No, it's not mutton chops. These are mutton chops. No, because it's... The negative space yeah. isn't mm-hmm. creating the spot positive space. You have only positive space, and then you've created negative space. Does that make sense? Not at all. Okay, like... It's, uh, she went to art school. So, that's why, yeah. Okay. Um, like, instead of leaving something, mm-hmm. you've only just taken away a circle. Mm. So instead of mutton chops, you have the absence of your, just the chin. Noted. Welcome to the Adam Friedland <laughs> Show. Well, the way I've November interpreted it okay, is that uh, <laughs> Nick has adopted a popular 70s homosexual facial hair pattern. It is good. It is. Yeah, yeah it's very It's style. very like a uh, leather bar. Mm. Or like uh, Australian. So I'll, cruising. I'll just sit here and allow people, the two people that can't grow facial hair, to slander me. Oh, I can grow well, facial Jordan hair. Jordan can grow <laughs> facial hair. Her parents are lesbians. Yeah, just keep saying the word pussy over and over pussy. again until you get a lumberjack beard. Was that good saying les uh, your parent? Les be honest. Les be honest. Yeah, that's a good one. They did that on uh, the Jersey Shore. What was the other one I had? Oh, I came up with this one. LL Flick Her Bean. Mm hmm. Uh huh. You like that? LL Cool Bean. Yeah. That's good. Mm, yeah. That's good. And it's a it's like a black or Puerto Rican lesbian. When you were What's in up, y'all, they call me LL Cool Bean. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also how, a know, nerd that know, says Cool Beans. You know I'm about my girls. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm be about smart girl. You know, there's like the little like the dikey like you know, uh-huh. they're just hyper oh, yeah. aggressive with women. They just love turning women out, and then they're yeah. all like possessive or whatever. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, it's November fourteenth. It's the Adam Friedland Show. Your host, Adam Friedland, with tonight's monologue from the top. Let's go, Jordan. If you want to give, because look, well, how this is going to work? Okay, is uh, down the line. Of, uh, I'm getting. Uh, we got Kurt Metzger on board. Mm-hmm. Tonight, I just wrote this myself. Yeah. We got Kurt Metzger on board, and he's going to bring his guys. From inside Amy Schumer. From in all the way up inside Amy Schumer. All up in Amy Schumer. Yeah. yeah. He was in her pussy, and then she shit him out of her ass all over On Charlie, Charlie Rose. On Charlie yeah. Rose. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to get, we're going to, we're going to just, we're going to nail this monologue every okay. fucking week. Let's so go. Th- uh, this is, this is still just, this is just me. I needed 15 jokes. So you got 15 these jokes. These are your 15 jokes. These are my 15 jokes I wrote for the model. Can I provide a parenthetical? Yeah. Okay. Nick needs, I, we said it last episode, to not touch the buttons. We are doing this episode to get back to our roots. Mm-hmm. We are doing the monologue because we are comedians, uh, right? We, we've, I've been too, doing too many, too many button You're touches. You're pushing buttons? And He's I pushing can't. too many buttons oh, on cameras, no lights. No more lenses, no more oh, We have made a decision to protect uh, my fine young friend over here mm. to go back to our roots, we can, okay. we as can, they would say in Canada. We can go back to lenses and lights once this thing is, once this fucking show is working for real. We'll find some fucking kids to do that. What we need to do... Are you, um, are you like, uh, fucked up on Oxycontin? Or are you right on now? something? Wait, d- is that how I appear right now? Yeah, yeah. a little bit. I'm really like nervous about the show right now. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. But you're, you, you sound like my stepmom. You're like, what do we need to do? She is on, uh, on those? Uh, I don't know. I thought she was on Adderall's. 
suppose. Me, you it's, know, like all twenty like eight year old women are on Xanax right now. Like yeah. every single one that you They're meet all is on Xanax, Xanax mm-hmm. and Lexapro, and they all have borderline personality disorder. A hundred percent of them have borderline personality. I'm yeah. telling you, a hundred percent of them, and well, probably myself. I yeah. wouldn't know about that because my girlfriend. Is fourteen. I didn't think you had BPD until you said pussy, and then I was like, "Oh, okay, pussy. Maybe. yeah, yeah." <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. If you don't come over right now, pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever told a guy you'd kill yourself? No way. Look, no. we'll get to the interview saying, "Please, can we read my monologue jokes?" We'll get to it, Nick. All right, all right, okay, all right. You guys just accused me of uh, opioid addiction. I look, would love I, look some honestly, if, if you took the initiative to start getting addicted to back pills I was in an effort to be wrong. a better TV You're host, the producer. You have to give me my my. Did you uh, get your ear pierced? He's had his ear yeah. pierced. He copied, he copied me. Do you have your ears pierced? I had my, I had my ear pierced. Wait, just as a ago. parenthetical, yeah. I got my ear pierced the day I quit my last day job. And, and just as a parenthetical is another one of Adam's email words right. that he's been saying, which he does in emails, even though you could just use parentheses. He writes, first he of all. just as a parenthetical. First well, of all, I can't write, okay? I say emails, but I can't write them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Second of all... Dave was here 10 minutes, and he's already like, can you write that down? And it was stuff like, remind me to go to lunch. Yeah, it's good. That's why we got Dave. Yeah. Oh, you're the Stanford prison experiment guy. Like, if you have a slave, you're going to use it kind of thing. Like, Dave came in and was like, let me help you out, and you were like... A researcher? Do you, you think there was a guy in the South that was like, I mean, yeah, I have slaves, but I don't use them. Uh-huh. I, just, I just, I mean, I have them, but it's not like I use them. No, you, I don't use them. I fuck them, mm-hmm. but I don't use them. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, sure. I'm like that. Like, if I pick up a Mexican day laborer for carpentry, I'm, I mean, I'm going to ride oh. his back. Oh, for I will carpentry. Be, I will be, he will be giving me a piggyback You're ride. my boyfriend now. Oh, yeah. I thought you said pick up like uh <laughs> If you don't love me, you're going back to Mexico. Oh, I thought you meant you've been, uh, you know, like a pua, like no, a pickup artist. No, 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 artist. no. Like, if I scoop them up at Home Depot. And you I don't neg right them? Here, you don't, Dude. like, try to pick them up? Have we talked about that? Did you guys read that book? I read that whole book. Neil Strauss' The Game? The game. Oh. Of course. Incredible it's the book. only book I've ever read. You're saying that, and I was like, w- is there a book about raping day laborers? Yeah. Have you read it? My no, read I was it. about to say, where my, where's my fucking royalty check? <laughs> I think my mom's going to rape these Amish people she hired. She's in love Are with Are they them. lesbians? Yeah. No, they're men, but she loves that these men have these like little mm-hmm. wives that stay at home. And she the really latest M. Night Shyamalan movie. Yeah. I fainted and peed my pants <laughs> to the last M. Night Shyamalan movie on a plane. It's like the lesbian carpenter <laughs> raping Amish people. <laughs> they just came out with that movie Tar, which is a lesbian rapist. Mm. I thought it's about a composer. I didn't know, I didn't know what people absurd. were talking about. I, th- I literally, my head just decided it was Tim Allen Radio, T A R. Oh yeah, well that's what it's about. Did you, do you ever do that? Your brain is just like this is what this is, and you don't look into it, and then you just you're yeah just, yeah just wrong. Like mm-hmm. the signs that say like uh, like the word like parenthetical. You know? Yeah, deer zing. Like uh, the oh, crossing yeah. signs. Yeah. I always thought it was zing. Zing. Oh, like wow. A, like Chinese, yeah. Chinese deer ahead. Yeah. School zing. Are you talking about like the Malcolm X? What is it called? The not mm-hmm. Malcolm X. Nelson but, Mandela effect? Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? You know about the Nelson Mandela effect? You know I'm South African. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah, yeah. He's Nick's, very important to me. Nick's My cat's alive. Yeah. What, what, all right, all right, you're, all right. You're all right, bullshitting. All right, all right. You're flirting right now. No, I'm just checking. Oh, I thought sure your cat gets, was dead. You told me his cat was dead, and then he, I looked at him, and he Who said my cat's dead. Who's flirting with? With you by saying, oh, I thought you were serious. Slander. What do you that mean slander? slander? That's just how women act got, around men. Famous. We got Vanderpump rules over here. Yeah. I'm <laughs> going to stir up drama. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a real housewife. We got, we got Lisbeth Vanderpump over here trying to stir up drama. Well, okay. <laughs> Let's do the monologue. Lisbeth Friedland. Now, yeah. now he wants to do the. Now that he's being called Vanderpump, right. he's ready for the monologue. Y'all, it's the Lisbeth Friedland show. We're bringing on two guests who are in love with each other: Adolf Hitler <laughs> and and Rabbi. <laughs> I don't know who's a famous rabbi. Shmuley Boteach. Okay, monologue jokes. Want me to read them? No, no okay. you're not the host. Okay, I was just checking. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Adam Friedland. Thank Adam you, Lisbeth Friedland. That's not my name. It's laugh into the mic, so <laughs> pick it up. <laughs> hey, folks, we got a great show today uh, from the Being Ian podcast. We have 
Jordan Jensen. She has lesbian But first, mother. the news of the world. But first, the news. Hundreds of Iranian children have been killed during protests against the government for more social freedoms, shattering the previous record of most children shot by police, said, of course, during the 1989 Eat Your Vegetables Festival. Jordan, what do you think? What do you think? The way you're reading it is very confusing. You have the you you have the because yeah, I'm on television. I know, now. I know, I know. You're yeah, on and I'm on a Zan X um, or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Hundreds yeah. of Iranian children have been killed during protests against the government for more social freedoms, shattering the previous record of most children shot by police. Said, of course, during the 1989 Eat Your Vegetables Festival. Yeah, it sounds pretty much the same as how I did. Well, uh, by the time I get to the end of it, I forgot the beginning of Too it. Too many words, huh? Too many. Hundreds of Iranian children have been killed during a protest. Shattering the previous no, record. No, you need can I sh- protest can I against the government. You need that. Just let me try to reduce words. All right, okay. Thank you so much. Is it the first one? It's the first Hundreds one. Hundreds of Iranian children have been killed during protests against the government, shattering the previous record of most children shot during the 1989 Eat Your Vegetables Festival. Mm, most children what did shot you change? by police. You have to create... See, the thing with the monologue jokes is that you're, you're making cartoons, basically. Mm-hmm. So you're always trying to just implant an image in someone's head rather than... That, that's why, you know, they're short. They're punchy. One more time. So you just mm-hmm. want a little cartoon. So you imagine a bunch of Iranian children being gassed and beanbagged in the face and shot and their mm-hmm. skulls exploding. Very all sad. The streets, Very sad. And the tanks rolling <laughs> over them. And all they're trying to, all they're trying to do is fucking, like, not have to wear a fucking bed sheet to yeah, school. Too much homework. Yeah, no, to do even have homework. Yeah, yeah. Like, did you just as fighting for essential freedoms against this repressive regime. And it's, then you say, shattering the previous record of most children shot by the police, said, of course, during the 1989 Eat Your Vegetables Festival. That's good. And then it's just a goofy... Yeah, that delivery that was good. Because then, good. Because then that when, delivery then was when good. what you do is you imagine Cleveland, Ohio, 1989, mm-hmm. spring day... Right. A bunch of little polo shorts and tiny shorts. Like sh- a chili cook-off. Yeah, chili mm-hmm. cook-off. And then they're like, we're going to eat vegetables. And children crying and the police just gassing and murdering Yeah, them yeah, yeah. Just for laying not It is vegetables. very funny. Okay, fuck yeah. it. That one's out. Whatever. No, no, it's funny. I, I liked it. This one's quicker, punchier, and it's a more classic monologue joke. Go ahead, Adam. No red wave this year. Don't read it like that. Yeah, please the just, Christopher Walken thing yeah. confused No me. red wave yeah. this year. During no, you, no you there's no hiding. red wave this <laughs> no. year. How am I doing it? During no. the midterms, there's no red wave. <laughs> they thought there was going to be one, but... It turns out there's not. <laughs> no red wave this year during the midterms. Why, why do you, you know who else? Hold on. Let me stop you right Wait, there. Let me shine. Let me shine. <laughs> I'll let you shine when you've got something to light up. Well, let me shine. Cur- Give me a we chance. Got a, we got a dead bulb in the flashlight. <laughs> Give me a chance. Okay. Let's go again. Well, you're getting a little... Okay. Okay. What can yeah, I say? Because I've been in my dressing you've, room all day. You've gassed me wearing up Wearing a negligee. You've gassed. I right, haven't sorry, been sorry. gassed nearly enough. Okay. All right, wait, let's get dead air for a second so that it's clean. Let's get it clean. Clean in the edit, and then we're going to do pick up on this one later. Go. No red wave this year during the midterms. You know who else was expecting a red wave that didn't come? A woman that's about to go to jail for doing her own abortion. Classic. Hit it and quit it. That was great. How was the read? The way you read it was great. The way you read it was great. How was the read? That's good. Good. Perfect. How was the read? The first one we should have dropped. See, the first one, I didn't edit this at all. So the first one, obviously way too wordy. That's my fault. The second one, I just want to get back in the, the tempo of writing monologue jokes. Now, this is the kind of fucking dog shit that, you know, Bill Maher would say. Mm-hmm. So we don't want that kind of shit, but we want the, you know. You don't like Bill Maher? No. I love him. My mom really loves him. I don't really watch it. Look, really? I'm, I'm a he fucking, looks like a dog. I'm, I'm a shark. I'm a killer. He looks so much like a dog. Anybody, anybody that's in, look, we're going to eradicate every other predator from this ocean. Okay. And it'll just be the Adam mm-hmm. Freeland show Well, he's going to die in a couple of days. Yeah. Me? No, 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 no. <laughs> Bill Maher. All right. Let's keep no, going. He, he'll be fine. Let's keep it going. A video has surfaced of a Russian soldier who defected to Ukraine in which he is executed by sledgehammer. What a terrible way to go. It's a shame it had to be Gallagher's last show before he died. Okay. It's you you you've got well, how is the read? You've got a weird cadence that I can't tell if you're doing on purpose to tank the joke or I'm not tanking. Can I tell you something really funny? I'm being up? a I'm TV host. Let me try again. Let me try again. A video has surfaced of a Russian soldier defected to Ukraine in which he is executed by sledgehammer. Uh huh. What a terrible way to go. It's a shame it had to be Gallagher's last show before he died. Uh huh. 
Yeah. We're so lighter. Gonna, well, not lighter, but you're like, it's a shame it had to be Gallagher's last show before he died. You're putting like weird pauses. You're reading everything matter of factly rather than delineating. You know what it is? Yeah. You have to read it before you. You have to read it before you say it. You're reading it for the first time, right? No. No. Oh, sorry. No. Well, he, it's the Xanax. Yeah, yeah. I'm not it's, on Xanax. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, you have well, who's the faggy guy from? Will Michael Grace? Barbaro. Michael Barbaro. Oh. That you're doing a Michael Barbaro. Don't do a Michael Barbaro. Who's that? It's from New York. The Daily. Times. The guy who's like, this is the Daily. What does he say? I'm Michael Barbaro. This is yeah. the Daily. Uh, I don't know. All right, whatever. Go to the next one. It looks like Georgia is headed to a runoff election. Runoff with what, you may ask? Herschel Walker's anti-mental retardation medicine? There's no question mark at the end there. Runoff with what, you may ask? It looks like Georgia is headed to but a runoff But it says with election. what, you may ask. <laughs> it looks like Georgia is headed to a runoff election. It should be a question mark. No. It looks like Georgia is headed to a runoff election. Runoff with what, you may ask? Well, Herschel Walker's anti-mental retardation. Oh, it's the answer. <laughs> yeah. It's the answer. It's the answer, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Question and answer. Seems like he needs that. It looks like Georgia is headed to a runoff election. Runoff I have to do what, like... you may ask? Herschel Walker's anti-mental retardation medicine. Yeah. I had speak and spell down beforehand, and Adam's like, what's a speak and spell? What's a speak and spell? It's a she toy. She doesn't know joke. either. Right. Okay, fine. Oh, a toy. Okay. He's illiterate. The joke is that he's illiterate. I'll change it to anti-mental retardation medicine as a placeholder. Next joke. Fuck it. Whatever. All right. This is a racist joke. Don't blow. You're ruining the punchline. This is so much pressure on me. Every time you read it, yeah. you're worried about how you sound, and you're worried about how it's written, and I don't know half the references. Well, no, you know you who should. President Biden is. I don't know who Herschel Walker is. I'll say that right now. How? I don't know. I don't know. I was. Well, you better. He's, you he's, better wake up. Yeah, he's the he's the big guy from the Green Mile, and now he's the president of uh, Georgia. Yeah. Is he the president? Mm -hmm. No, he's not. No, he's trying to be the president. Wow. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next joke, and Adam, do this one clean, please. Clean, please. Okay. Let's get an action and then two beats. Imagine you're on television. Okay, we need radio. an action okay. and two beats. All right. Action. President Biden met with President Xi for the first time this week. During the meeting, the Chinese Communist Premier remarked, Ching Chong, Ding <laughs> Dong. Sorry, keep going. <laughs> Sorry, please keep reading. Ching Chong, <laughs> Ding. <laughs> this is a serious joke. Jordan, please. Just can Jordan, we, can, can you please, please get through the fucking joke? Can you please? You've ruined so many episodes of this fucking show. <laughs> so and you, ugh, the sorry. worst guest ever. Let's bring <laughs> Ian back. Yeah. Really no, sorry. no, no. <laughs> He's not coming back. Okay. During the meeting, the start from, start from the top. Start from, please, just start from the top. Let's get this one clean. Action. All right, Jordan, take me seriously. Action. Please. All right, go. Two beats. Action, then two beats. Go. Action. <laughs> No, stop. Okay. Action. President Biden met this week with President Xi for the first time. During the meeting, the Chinese Communist Premier remarked, Ching Chong, Ding Dong, Wingo, Din Du, Denudo. Early, uh, repeating, con okay, let's do it one more time. Sorry. Right. President Biden met this week with President Xi for the first time. During the meeting, the Chinese Communist Premier remarked, Ching Chong, Ding Dong, Wingo, Din Du, Denudo. Repeating comments President Biden had earlier made to a group of Pittsburgh coal miners. <laughs> I'm sorry, you, you're, again, you're putting the emphasis on the wrong words. President Biden met with President Xi for the first time this week. During the meeting, the Chinese Communist Premier remarked, Ching Chong, Ding Dong, Wingo, <laughs> Dindu, Denudo. Repeating <laughs> comments President Biden had earlier made to a group of Pittsburgh coal miners. <laughs> How did I do it? You, it earlier is like you got to punch earlier. President Earlier. Biden met this. <laughs> President Biden met with President Xi. And I, honestly, it shouldn't be President Xi. President Biden met with President Xi for the first time this week. During mm -hmm. the meeting, the Chinese Communist Premier remarked, Ching Chong, Ding Dong, Wingo, <laughs> Dindo, Denudo, repeating comments President Biden had earlier made to a group of Pittsburgh coal miners. Okay. I, feel, I felt that. Do you see the difference, Jordan, between no, what I'm doing? Practically no, practically the I same. It was the same. He's getting better. Okay. All right. As long case. as he's getting better. Look, yeah, this yeah, shows yeah. about progress. It's, yeah. It's the, it's the human condition. Mm -hmm. okay. Striving striving towards either failure or success, but neither are truly attainable. Yeah, but you have to be open to his rendition, too. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. Because you did write it, so you have it in your head. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. like you did whatever that other thing was that you had made up in your mind. Tim Allen. Yeah, Tim Allen Radio. Miracle yeah. or whatever. All right. Okay. All right, so this one you're not going to want to read, but you got to. I'll read it. All right. A horrific crash at a Texas air show has left six dead after two World War II era planes collided at midair. The tragedy has a silver lining, though. As I discovered through this news story, that there's something called a Chinook helicopter. What's that exactly? A helicopter that's both Chinese and Korean? What's next? A spicoon hover. Uh, <laughs> Nick. You're reading it so well, though. Yeah, You're but I don't want to do racism anymore. You have to do racism. You already Why? said the racist part. You because can at least say hovercraft. No, you, you made up racist. a new racist word. A sp S P I C O O N hovercraft. A spooky. Spicoon hovercraft. Oh, yeah, there. You don't even say it there. Yeah. As Break I discovered the through this news story, there's something called a Chinook helicopter. What's that exactly? A helicopter that's both Chinese and Korean? Mm hmm. What's next? A spicoon hovercraft? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's funny. Yeah, well, right, sure. I thought it was what funny. About a spachink? I ran the, I ran well, this. Oh, come on, Jordan. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. I sorry, ran sorry. this. Grow because, up. Because, <laughs> well, because, <laughs> because you already have that in Chinook. So you would want to go different. You would oh, want to gotcha. try and match Chinook in terms of the slur. Philosophically, he's not right. But practically, he's absolutely as a, a joke spot writer. On. I'm right. Yeah, yeah. Right, he's right, spot right, on. Right. Not that you don't know what you're doing. But joke. I'm saying it almost would have been a misdirect because you're like, oh, he's gonna mix two different cultures, but then you just nail him hard with the mm -hmm. same exact. Yeah, yeah. One. Okay. <laughs> uh, what is what? Is, what the hell is this? A shovel faced dragon <laughs> yeah, lady yeah. plane? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, now I'll I ran I ran this next time. one by Adam and he liked it. So I like this show. Hopefully, Adam can nail this one. Okay. And it's it's not mature. It's also still. Immature. Okay. But less offensive. Okay, that's what we're going for? Well, for, uh, that's what I'm going for. I, I want to turn things around. Oh, in my yeah, life. Right. Okay. King Charles has asked Parliament to allow his brother to act in his place. <laughs> what did I do? You, you, yeah, uh, sorry. We'll just go. Just do it, and then we'll do notes after. Well, we could have rehearsed before this. I thought you us. did. You, I gave you the paper. I no, you we could have done it together. If you want to be a director, we could rehearse together, okay. and you could tell me how you want it. In my house, when we're mad at each other, we We're not mad at each other we, at all. Well, First of all, this sorry, isn't a house. This mad, is a profitable business. Mad, but when we critique each other, we do it in British accents. That way, it doesn't sound so harsh. Uh, it's so I don't know pissed, if I like <laughs> the British accent so much. Maybe more Christopher Walken. Having a bone to pick with okay, Lisbeth. Okay, go ahead. No, no. What's your bone? I don't want to ruin the joke, so do it, and then I'll explain why Are you you're... calling him Elizabeth? Liz I think Lisbeth. you're... you're, Lisbeth. you're <laughs> Elizabeth, please. You're dooming me to failure before the audience has heard me. <laughs> I just, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have interjected, but please just read it. Is go. this what this show is? I, I thought we were doing a clean talk show with no mistakes anymore. No mistakes. Read it, Elizabeth. Just read it and then okay. we'll go through. King Charles has asked Parliament to allow his brother to act in his place. When approached about the plan, his brother Andrew replied, Ooh, look at me. I'm King Charles. I'm gay. <laughs> perfect. The you second half is good. What do you say? Minor note. Okay. So the, do it the, in an accent. Say your note in an accent. It okay. helps. Okay. I don't need to. But you just say it. We're feelings. men. No, we're men. We're right. men. Okay. Go so ahead. We're men. So this joke, the, the joke is, is acting in his place. So acting like King Charles, he'd be like, ooh, look at me. I'm King Charles. I'm gay. Did so that not come across? He did that. No, he did that. But up top, when you set it up, you have to subtly put emphasis on the word act. Act. So that way the word act is drilled. Okay, in that's a good note. So you say King Charles has asked that's Parliament to allow his brother to act in his place. I think it still makes sense, but that it is still does also a good note. But it, King Charles has asked Parliament to allow his brother to act in his place. Uh -huh. When approached about the plan, his brother replied, Ooh, look at me. I'm King Charles. I'm gay. Uh -huh. that, you know, and then you can ham it up, do whatever you want. I it. thought I hammed it up. You did. It's just that when very minor it, thing. When you read it on camera, will you be saying these things? No, I, I don't want to do that anymore. You have have to. I'm not even going to be here. No, be we, okay. we want to do a proper professional talk gonna, show. Yeah, they're going to have to remove me from the room, and then we'll have. I was crying at the you screaming at him. You're all right. 
You're all right. I was drunk. I shouldn't have done that. I mean, yeah, you shouldn't drink anymore. I didn't. I didn't drink all weekend in San Francisco Mazel except for tov. really. Yeah, the first first couple of nights. <laughs> <laughs> the first three nights of my three day weekend. I did the last two shows sober and I bombed. Really? So, yeah. No, you I do don't. better drunk. I did. I did. I just. Uh, yeah. I just. Um, I. I, I got to write a new hour. I got to get off the road and, and write stuff I'm excited about because it's impossible. This is why. I, why I was always a shitty comic is like I, a joke is funny to me like two or three times and then I don't know how to perform it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You just numb out. Yeah. 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 Do you ever? Do you ever perform better when you're panicking? I feel like I perform best. When I never I, panic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but if I like drink a Celsius and pop an Adderall mm-hmm. and I'm ha- my heart's gonna stop, I crush. No. Even though I think I'm gonna die. I never crush. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay. All right. Next joke. I never crush. Pathetic. Anyway. It's so funny to think of you as Elizabeth. Why does he say these things about L- himself? L- just be a, just be good. You, you're, you are good. Whatever. Okay. A New Jersey woman called the police on a nine-year-old black girl who was spraying trees in her neighborhood to ward off lantern flies. The police finally managed to calm the woman after explaining to her that in the bug world, lanternflies are actually black. <laughs> I cut two the words. Eye contact I cut two at me words. was really good too. Yeah. Looking up at me at the last moment. Because I have gorgeous eyes. It did help. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. I fell in love. And How was that read? Good. Yeah. That was you liked good. it. Yeah, okay. It was perfect. So more masculine. Less, uh, uh. Oh, you felt that was masculine? Yeah, more like... More <laughs> it, sounded, like it sounded like her saying pussy. How, why what do you, say what pussy? are you talking I don't about? I don't know. I mean, I mean, I mean, Can you say pussy one more time? Pussy. <laughs> pussy. <laughs> right. Pussy. Elizabeth? University of California academic researchers have gone on strike demanding higher pay. When asked about their demands, one of the lifelong Berkeley academics explained... We barely have enough money in our trust funds for all of our numerous and complex sexual reassignment surgeries. I was going to cut that one. It Read it one more time. It's sort of it, it, it's, it's kind of transphobic. Well, it's not really clear. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Whatever. Like Berkeley. Yeah. Next. Whatever. Joke. Next joke. I feel what like is that? I hit my stride. What? So w- Wi-Fi. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Pete, a, it's a cam- It's an X-ray camera that's broadcasting your pussy to the to OnlyFans. As Remember you know. when they no, said not. those those airport things were like showing you naked, and then yeah. you walk through and look at it, and it's just a gray stick figure. Mm-hmm. What was the I, naked I don't know. Thing? I'll tell you this: every time I go through one of those things, they tell me I have something shoved up my ass. <laughs> There's always like a big red mark on my ass, and they're like, "Okay, let's try again. Pull your pants up." And they're like, sorry, we're going to have to run our hand up your leg. They like fucking grope my ass and my inner thigh. And they touch your dick, too. Yeah, I mean, it's... Mine is my right ankle. There's always something on my right ankle. I have, mm. I have incredibly tight hamstrings and like an IT band here. Like, you can feel it. Feel this thing. So they, they stop oh, me. They stop. That's not bone? No. They stop me and they're like, is this a fucking baton? Oh, my God. That's going to snap. Yeah. You got to stretch that out. Yeah, no. It's been like that forever. All right. I think you should read the trans one again. Quick. Read. No, no, Should I do fine. it? University we'll do. of California academic. Wait, the joke is it's, it's kind of telegraphed. It doesn't really work. And it, for the same reason I said up top, but you have to create an image. And this one doesn't really create an image with the language. Uh-huh. But the idea is that it's, it's, it's like you see like fucking researchers and grad students, right? Right. So you know yeah. those people and they're striking. Liberals. They're striking because they want more money. And it's like, what do they want more money for? It's just a complex back and forth tr- trans surgeries. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's you know whatever that one. That one I just need to hit fifteen, so that okay. one got wedged. Okay, in. moving on. Next one in celebrity news: Pete Davidson and Emily Ratajkowski are supposedly dating, and many are calling it the power couple of the century. With Davidson reportedly having a huge dick, and Emily Ratajkowski an even bigger <laughs> penis. Very good. Very good. That's a better one. Yeah. Very, very That's a good. better trans one. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to think if I, how I would read it. Let me, let me know if there's a difference or if I'm okay. just nitpicking. All right. Pete Davidson and Emily Ratajkowski are supposedly dating, and many are calling it the power couple of the century, with Davidson, Davidson reportedly having a huge dick, and Emily Ratajkowski an even bigger penis. Same? Mm-hmm. Well, yours is... It, it, okay, Elizabeth says... Radio and yours is Taj Point oh. What's Elizabeth? Oh, that, you're, you're Elizabeth. calling me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This next one is read it. Read it like you're excited. Like, read it like it's it's not a news fact, but it's like a hot goss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This next one is Emily. Uh, oh, what's sorry. her? Sorry, yeah. Elizabeth. 
Pete Davidson and Emily Ratajkowski are supposedly dating, and many are calling it the power couple of the century. Yes. With Davidson reportedly having a huge dick, and Emily Ratajkowski an even bigger penis. Yes. An even bigger With penis. You, you can't drop the NPR voice. It's actually no. pretty wild. An even bigger penis. I was doing a homosexual. An even bigger penis. 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 Robert An even Siegel, bigger that's penis. That's who he's doing. I'm Robert Siegel. This is actually why you would benefit from taking Mandarin Chinese because the tonality of the language sort of it, it tells you where to place emphasis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when you go back in the English, Gee. yeah, like sure. That. An even bigger penis. Okay. The humor is all in that in the delivery. Well, I thought I, don't know. I thought I got it. Up. I want to try reading one really bad. Just, yeah. I just want to see. Okay. All right. Well, this next one is is my my favorite. You know what? Let let Jordan read the next one. Well, I want to do this one. No. Let Jordan, let the guest read. What, am I just, I just get embarrassed again? Is that what? Yeah, the last no one. No way. The, it's the last one on the page you're looking at. Director Paul Haggis has paid $10 million to his rape accuser, Haley Breest. When asked what she would do with the money, Breest replied, hopefully not get raped by Paul Haggis again. Mm-hmm. That's good. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the best one. Is it? That's great. Yeah. Did I say Breest right? Yeah, I think so. We shouldn't say her name. It's in the news. Yeah, but I mean, so tell the fucking the news. Rape, tell the news. Rape 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 well, they rape. said it in the New York Post. So I don't know if that's the news, but okay. Jay Leno has suffered horrific and agonizing facial burns and has been left permanently deformed after an explosive car fire in what many fans are calling the funniest episode mm-hmm. of Jay Leno's Garage yet. <laughs> good. Okay. Very How good. was that? But was why Garage? That's his. That's his, his show oh, on YouTube. That's a YouTube. YouTube show. I'm a really bad. It's not funny at all. And the, it, you, it, yeah, it's just a straightforward show about cars. Jay oh, Leno's garage. Is it like one of the horrible pandemic, like things that came out of the pandemic? I think it predates that actually. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, Jay Leno has suffered horrific and agonizing. This is more more the cartoon thing, right? Yeah. So you create an image of Jay Leno just burning to death, very to sad, his way out of a of a car, and then a guy it's at very home sad on like a fucking Dell Inspiron, just watching this video, just laughing his ass yeah. off. <laughs> and he's like, "Wow, this is a great show." Yeah. But did he burn his face? He yeah. did today. Yeah, it's comedy news. You should follow that. I I don't look at I don't have Twitter. The man is an institution. It, oh, still? Yes. Even now, Adam, yeah. we're also gonna have to. Your nose has been whistling the entire episode. You are blowing snot bubbles into the microphone. Yeah, I slept that's, that's, two hours that's last night. Mad, I was on a red eye flight. Than, me too. All right. No, you weren't. You came back yesterday. At s- 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, you had all day yesterday. to kill your cat. Okay. Apple is... I haven't heard any whistling, Elizabeth. Yeah, I can... I got, He's I got on the headphones. Oh, I keep not being able to hear because... And then I put the microphone to my ear. I realize it's something I'm doing every time one of you is talking. <laughs> Well, now I'm embarrassed about the whistling. I don't right, hear the Don't whistling. worry about it. Can we restart sure the episode? No. No, no, you're not. It's probably me. your pussy. <laughs> your, your pussy's whistling, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, it's slowly <laughs> leaking air. <laughs> That's a funny noise. Apple yeah, has increased its monthly subscription price for Apple TV+, Plus, which of course means that fans of Ted Lasso now have yet another reason to kill themselves. Great. Love it. Thanks. How was the cadence there? It was fine. I think uh, that joke speaks for itself. Yeah. There's really no way you can fuck that one up. Okay. I'll keep that in mind next time I write these Pause things. right before the punchline. Another yeah. reason to kill themselves. Apple has increased its monthly subscription price for Apple TV+, Plus, which of course means that fans of Ted Lasso now have yet another reason to kill themselves. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I did it more Jordan's way. Have yet another reason to kill themselves. Yeah, that's how I did it. All right. Yeah. Whatever. Next one. Controversy surrounds the upcoming World Cup in Qatar after reports that stadiums were built by slave labor, confirming once and for all that not only is soccer gay, it's also racist. I was I was lost by the end. That's okay. That migrant workers have died and oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> 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 That was in my face. Sorry, I'm trying to read the. Page. Are you cough. sick again? I've been. I'm just we're both sick. sick. Yeah. yeah. I every time I leave the studio, I get sick every single time. Yeah, we're not doing good. Yeah, we're bad. <laughs> we're stressed out, man. I'm addicted to opioids. 
Philadelphia is set to welcome its first busload of migrants with open arms. This is a huge step forward for the famously racist Philadelphia. Unfortunately, to get residents to accept the deal, activists had to explain that the largely Honduran migrants were being brought there to beat up Vietnamese people. I did the local news thing again. It was a local news thing. Yeah. What do you say, Nick? I don't know. I mean, I, why are you sad again? I'm not sad. I just I'm going to tell you. I had more fun writing it and reading it in my head than... I'm the gonna actual thing. What about yeah? Go, go ahead. ahead. Yep. Can I see it? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Which one? It's this one. Okay. Philadelphia is set to welcome its first bus load of my. Okay, here's the problem. When you're reading it, Philadelphia is set to welcome its first bus load of migrants with open arms. You forget what's happening because the cadence is so unmatched mm. to what it's being read. Right. Adam reads each individual word. He's like Siri, yeah. basically. So you have to mm-hmm. for sales press right. two. Philadelphia welcomes its first load of migrants with open arms. This is a huge step forward for famously racist Philadelphia. Unfortunately, to get res- residents to accept the deal, activists had to explain that l- the largely Honduran migrants were being brought in to beat up Vietnamese people. I don't think that, that was, was very good. That was really good. To be honest, you were taking shots the whole time, and that was dog shit. Yeah, it was no, really bad. No, I think bad. that was really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you ran out of breath. I yeah. did run out of breath yeah, twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was able to picture you it that like, time. You sound like an autistic kid. All right, all right, all right. One more time. Yeah, go for Philadelphia, it. Philadelphia, you know what? It's too verbose. You can do it. Philadelphia welcomes its... I'm going to reduce the words right go now. In my own... Mm-hmm. I'm going to do that in my head. Go so for remember it. that I'm doing that. Okay. That I'm editing I, what you Yeah, go for it. Philadelphia is set to welcome migrants with open arms. This is... <laughs> this is a huge step forward for famously racist Philadelphia. Unfortunately, to get residents to accept the deal, activists had to explain that the largely Honduran m- migrants... You did it again. I you can't. fucked it up again. Yeah. Yeah. And three yeah. X's. Howie Mandel. You're yeah, just not right for it. It's too many words. You're worse it's than Adam. Words. Philadelphia is set to welcome its first busload of migrants with open arms. This is a huge step forward for famously racist Philadelphia. Unfortunately, to get residents to accept the deal, activists had to explain that the largely Honduran migrants were being brought in to beat up Vietnamese people. You know what? I Fucking think, nailed it. I think it yeah, needs I to think be it was kind of like mine. Migrants. That was similar to mine. What? Philadelphia is set to welcome its first busload of immigrants with open arms. Huge step forward immigrant, for the famously immigrant racist, is racist Philadelphia. Immigrant is a racist word. What's yeah. the right word? You put migrants. You told me to say migrant. Well, that's what the Philadelphia article Philadelphia welcomes said. a barrel of immigrants. Barrel? This huge step, yep, what do you mean this huge barrel? Step, we're changing it. This huge step forward for famously racist Philadelphia. Unfortunately, to get residents to accept... The, I can't... I'd take out the I second Philadelphia and I'd say, for the famously racist city of brotherly city. love... Two Philadelphias may be unnecessary. What do you think? Migrant activists, maybe. Activists had to explain that. What do you think, Nick? Migrants. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? Largely the Honduran jokes. migrants. That's where it's confusing. Because you're saying, are they large Hondurans? No, they're mostly Hondurans. No, yeah, that, the mostly that makes Honduran sense. migrants were being brought in to beat up Vietnamese people. Largely Honduran. That That's grammatically incorrect. Largely Honduran migrants. Okay. You, agreed? Sure. Is that it? I mean, I I was just happy with the Paul Haggis one. That was fire. That was the only one that I. That was really good, it. Nick. Well, you, I'm going to read it again. What? Why? 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 What? Director Paul Haggis has paid $10 million to his <laughs> rape accuser, Haley Breest. When asked what she would do with the money, Breest replied, "Hopefully, not get raped by Paul Haggis again." It's good. Okay. Okay. Well, that's the monologue, folks. We'll be right back with Adam's desk piece. And then, then what we would do, so we would shoot the monologue, do pickups. We're going to get an audience in here. And they'll, uh, you know, they're not going to laugh. So we're going to have to record it again and then force them to laugh yeah. at, uh, at the jokes. What, who are you going to get in here? I don't know. Tourists from Times Square. Literally, I'm just going to get extras. I'm going to go to, I'm going to get fucking. Home Depot parking lot. I'm going to go to Central Casting and it would be like, I need 15 people to come laugh at monologue jokes and I'll pay them all a day, right? Just get the piggies. Just get, you know. No, I want people from Central Casting. I want, oh, a, bunch okay. of, I want a bunch of freaks and like. What about N- people N- from Central America? People in NYPD outfits that they own so that they can be oh, on Blue Bloods. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bring those guys in. Mm-hmm. And we'll hear just a bunch of cops, just a bunch of fake cops. Yeah. And have them laugh at the monologue. That's pretty good. And then we'll go to the desk piece. And then we'll shoot the desk piece. Okay. Yeah. Is this where the desk piece is going to be? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll have him up here and then we'll have like, uh, you know, 
we'll, we'll figure out. We, me and Kurt got to figure out a bunch of, uh, like, refillables. Kurt Shackelford. Kurt, yeah. Kurt Shackelford. Yeah. Okay, and the desk piece, you'll be with a guest. No, guess no, will come out. You that's uh, that's like where Jay like reads the headlines. Oh, yeah, it's monologue. before the guest comes out. Yeah, the the, the 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 yeah, the guest will come out, and then you pick one news story or something going on, and then you build out like a longer bit. Okay. Yeah, and then ideally down the line too, once we have things up and running, then you go do like remote segments. You do man on the street. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, of you screaming Me? outside. Will no, you be doing? I'm not, I'm not doing. You're not going to do the outside. I'll field produce them, but I'm not going to fucking. I'm not going to be on camera. Mm-hmm. I still think you should do the thing where the guy in the street, you, it never shows the person he's talking to, mm-hmm. and it, the microphone goes to the other person, and it just never pans. Oh, I th- I think Nick I pitched uh, me think going on a plane and saying I have a bomb. Yeah, I didn't pitch that. He you didn't pitch be, that? No, he thought that would be a funny thing to say that I pitched, but I didn't pitch that. What why I mean, why pitch, are you hating on my ass right uh, now, man? On because my nose is whistling. No. It's my pussy. No. Did, what? Did, did you tell him to go on a plane and say bomb? No. I said bomb on a plane the other he day. He did say that. Really? Yeah. I vaped in a plane bathroom and the thing went off. Really? Yep. Oh, man. Wee you, wee you. Then bang on the door. I had to slide the vape. Was there an air marshal? No, it was a gay flight attendant. One of you the just worst. just blow the vape in your pussy and you come out and you're like, what am I supposed to do about this? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what this is? <laughs> Do you know what the fuck you this tell is? Tell me. Yeah. You riddle me this. I had, a, me I, had this. A, I had a flight with like the most horrific flight attendants recently. They came by. It was like a long. I mean, I go to San Francisco, and usually I don't watch a movie on the plane. I just sit there and watch the flight tracker for fucking three and a half hours. You would. That's crazy. Yeah, I yeah. see people like you doing. No, that. I do that. I just sit in the chair and I just watch the fucking thing. Like, really? Yeah, the entire trip. What's going? Do you think? What do you think? Okay. I don't know. What's hap? Do you th- do you think you think in English? Mm, I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, that's what I do. And but this one, I was like, maybe I'll watch a movie, you know. And uh, but they came by and they they offer the headphones. They go headphones, headphones, headphones. That's a new thing. They're headphones. Doing. You watch yeah. the flight tracker. That and scares I, me. I just waved them off. I didn't want the headphones. Literally, fucking a minute later, we haven't even taken off yet, you know. And he comes back by. I'm like, oh, actually, can I get those headphones? And he's like, I'm not allowed to give out headphones anymore. No way. Yeah. Oh, actually, we can't give out headphones anymore. Did he say you have to pay for them or something? Well, no. There was just the headphone giving out section of what the flight. What flight? Delta? I have no Jet idea. Either, either Delta or American Airlines. That's shocking. <laughs> I was in first class the other day. I told you that. Yeah, you fly first class. It's crazy. I No, I got upgraded. Oh. It was great. Why? Because I'm a sky priority because oh, I fly yeah. so much. But really? I looked like a disgusting... What did I call it? Train hopper. All right, so if we're not we're not going to do the death segment today. What's so in your nose? It's not. Okay. Yeah, we're not we're not going to do the death segment today. Uh-huh. Uh, but that could be a good death segment. Is what's in your nose? <laughs> yeah. you know? That's pretty good. Yeah. And then we just bring on like Stephen Dorff. He's like, I don't know, man. I've been struggling lately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or yeah, just different celebrities, and we figure out what's in their nose. Mm-hmm. The nose knows with Lisbeth. And we get a cartoon of you with a name. big nose, and you got a dress on and pearls. It's so good, though, for you. It makes so much sense. Why? Liz- I don't know. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Lisbeth? It's yes. not even Jewish. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. There's some, it's, you're quite elegant, and that is an elegant name. Of course I'm elegant. Know. Everyone knows that. I know. The Elegant in the Room. That's the new name of the Adam Friedland talk show. Yeah. Of course. The Elegant in the Room with Lisbeth. How about, how about this? Wednesdays, that's the regular Adam Friedland show. The premium content on Patreon is the elegant in the room with Elizabeth Friedland, and you become a bitch. Yeah. You're a different, you're a completely different host, and you're a, a woman bitch who's a cunt to everyone. That's funny. Yeah. And yeah. that's the pay. pay pre, uh, that would be good for you, I think, emotionally. Do you think people would like that? No, I just yeah. turned into Porky Pig there for a second. That's the pay. <laughs> I think that that would be good. It feels right. Elizabeth feels right for you. Nick seems like he's been through multiple wars, and you seem like your name has previously been Elizabeth. Um, it's never been that. I know. I've gone by many names in a past that. life. No, What's in this. We should also this show. We should have a segment that's uh, because we're trying to create the greatest talk show of all time. We do monologue. We do desk piece. We bring out the guest. We do the guest, and then after that, Adam contacts dead relatives of audience members mm-hmm. and we do crossing over with john edward 
We'd have to like get intel on the audience beforehand. Can so I tell we you something? Riff that them. Did that was so bad the other day. I went into the cellar. Do you know who John Lester is? Wait, I've heard John Edwards, and he's like, "Does does anyone here have a, a son named uh, Timmy? <laughs> Timmy, Timmy, or Tommy? Timmy? Yes, that that's my son, Tommy. Yeah, okay, uh, Frank, right? You're Frank. Yes, I'm I'm Frank. You you got a you got a Harley in the garage or something? I'm seeing like a motorcycle. He's like, "Yes, I have a motorcycle in the garage." Yeah, um, yeah. Timmy said you you fucked him <laughs> in the ass. Timmy said you would just fuck him all the time and suck his dick, like in front of the other neighborhood kids. Is that it? Is that what he's? Uh, yeah, yeah. Your house has blue shutters. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It does. It yeah. does. You live on Aurora Street. I'm on Aurora Street. You would. Yeah, fuck you're him. raping babies you, every day, sir. You fucked him in the ass. <laughs> And he's dead now, but now he's he's got nothing to lose, so he's telling me. <laughs> yeah. Elizabeth? No, I'm going to yes. tell you the horrible Inch- thing I oh, did. Oh, yeah, go ahead. What'd you do? I'm going to run and blow my nose real quick. It's bad. Okay. I went into the cellar, and Chappelle, David mm-hmm. La Chappelle, that's not his name, that's actually a photographer, I think. Yeah. But, isn't it? It's da- a famous but Dave photographer. Chappelle yeah. was sitting at the cellar table and mm. he had seen my motorcycle and he said something about the motor he said you didn't bring your motorcycle today but through the corner of my eyes I thought he was John Laster who is another big black guy mm-hmm. who hosts and I was like oh fuck I thought you were John Laster I said that to Dave Chappelle and I was like and then I quickly started talking about the motorcycle but and you know, what did he say in response he was like who the fuck is John Laster but then I think uh-huh. he knew how embarrassing it was for me so yeah. he quickly you're like oh him. he's a white guy he's a white guy <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> he's awful. really cool it was brutal. Yeah, he's a really cool white guy. So that's what I've been dealing with this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dave Chappelle pissed off audiences by... Per, 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 uh, Porky the Pig. Yeah, again. why the fuck can't win? <laughs> as appearing. That's the word I'm looking for. Appearing? As appearing as uh, hosting SNL. Adam, take it away. Monologue. What? Okay, sorry. Wait, did he pretend... That's what they were arguing about. Did he pretend to host SNL? No, he hosted oh, this he week. Host, yeah. People say that he was too uh, uh, sympathetic to anti-Semitism. Why? What did he say? He w- I don't Kanye know. I didn't watch it. What happened? You could say something like... Uh, I've been saying, call me Kanye on stage every night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I say... It. How about anti-Semitism? She's like, you 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 got too many Jews running the media. That's a character, good. autism. Yeah, yeah. She's Jamaican. Yeah. Yeah. They got too many Jews running the, the Hollywood. They need to get the Jews out of Wait here. Wait a minute. This is very good. The amount of black people that are now anti Semitic calling yeah. that anti Semiticism. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is gold. Yeah. I've been checking in with my black friends daily just to make sure we're still cool. Most of them are yeah. anti Semitic. They just don't say things out loud. Even the fellas. Even the fellas. Oh. More of the fellas. Most of them said that they would uh, Anne Frank me during the impending uh, black versus yeah, Jewish black, black uh, women just hate Holocaust. Customers. That's who they don't like. And Adam. They hate me. They hate white women. Oh, they okay. hate me. Oh, I've really? gotten in many a screaming match. Yeah, I was carving my name into the sidewalk once. There was like, and this woman came by and she was like, you think that you can just write your name in this neighborhood? You're appropriating it. And then I was so fucked up on mushrooms at the time that she I said handed, you're appropriating your name. Yeah, the neighborhood by writing my name into this. She'd be like, "I'm. Uh, this is my fucking job." I, yeah, I was like, "I live right here, and I've <laughs> and I've lived here for years." And then I handed her the stick I was using, and I was like, "You can write your name also." And mm-hmm. I was tripping so hard that I couldn't view anything she was saying as like mad at me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And what is tri- tripping? Is like acting a fool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a- yeah. you're tripping. Straight tripping. Yeah, you're yeah. tripping. Yep. Yeah. I often do that as well. Yeah. Straight trip. Well, yeah, I, I I'm on the down low and I and I trip sometimes. I'm I'm getting tired of the mushroom craze. It's got to end now. That's that's you do them like quite a, frequently. A personal problem rather than a no. Craze. Everybody's doing this yeah. mushroom craze thing. All the I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, getting tired, really tired of this cocaine craze. That's been yeah. yeah, yeah. It's really I'm sick and tired of the opioid craze. It's doing Xanax before we have to do the show. I, no, I think do the coke Xanax. Craze needs to come back. Coke. Yeah, the coke phase. I'm ready to reintroduce it. Uh, people are doing it. You don't have to worry. It died down a bit, don't you think? 
I don't know. Do I just think that I'm a microcosm of everybody else's? You only life? hang out with like uh, people that only hang out with comics. I tell you, you know, you got actually a that's not true. I loved your other friend. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. What's a cosm? <laughs> it's a penis. Yeah, yeah. no, it's not. I thought he's got a microcosm. <laughs> this guy over here. <laughs> what is the character Adam at this point? Huh? You tell us. Yeah. Elizabeth. I, I, I feel like uh, out of control. This is the Elizabeth Friedland show. Oh, God. We're back on this. Huh? I think people like this crap anyway. Like what crap? <laughs> <laughs> it's an yeah, picture. whatever. Just say, uh, let's go back to this crap. A couple of crap fellas <laughs> just making a crap show for crap people. Um, Did we adequately address where we're at? What do you mean adequate? Where we're at is another vernacular. Mm-hmm. Circle Man, back. I can't wait to get home and irrigate my nose. And navigate. What's wrong? Are you going to neti pot it? I got one of those yeah, mechanical neti pots. What do you mean? It blows water into one side and sucks it out the other. What? It's awesome. That dude. can't be good for you. No, it's like douches your fucking head. Your brain? Yeah. It's mechanical? Yeah. What happens to the stomach? I'm over here thinking that? I'm getting like, I've been fucked up from like repeated bouts with COVID. And it really is just, I've got, That's what par- I think I've just too. got parasites in my head from putting toilet water in the fucking neti pot. Yeah, it's not good for you. Yeah. You have to get distilled water. Well, I use toilet water because you'd think it's the cleanest <laughs> water because you got to, the pee goes yeah. in there. So it's got to be the cleanest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be, that's gonna, that water's got to be ready for poo and pee. <laughs> that's the one you want to use. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. I yeah. think that's probably it. Yeah. Yeah. That is, that's, that's rich. Mm. So what? Uh, hmm? Nothing. Go ahead. I think I have repeated COVID, and I, that's why I'm fucked up all the time. Yeah. That's why I'm constantly sick. Yeah. I think anytime any COVID just walks by me, it like react. I think it's I think it's a combination of COVID and then also being a vegan. Now I think I was giving myself brain damage mm-hmm. with only eating plants. Yeah, and the full blown AIDS. It? Huh? You're still doing it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No fuck ups. Mm-mm. Not well here and there. I mean, it would be something like you know, I ate some sun chips and I didn't realize those were pussy. Vegan. Yeah, I guess. Maybe that too. Did I say it better then? It's Let's only see. non-vegan if she's. Fat. I didn't notice the first one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If she's a normal size girl, it's that's still vegan. Yeah. <laughs> if she's a, if she's a real, if she's a real fucking cow, then yeah, sorry. <laughs> 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 Just some fat lady. Go down on me. I don't want to break. Can my I come fat. to the cellar and get a guest spot? Let's yeah, try that come out. Do it. Yeah. It's new jokes tonight. You actually could do it. Yeah. Do you want to? Yeah, I'm vegan now. And uh, so I know what you're thinking. Eating pussy. What, does that count as fucking vegan? Or only if should I go I'm going to read my most recent new joke that's written down out loud. Ready what for is it? it? Well, I was on it my is period the other day. Fat girls are good at cursive. That's the most recent joke. Why? Because their hands that? are heavier, so they can't lift true. them off it's the just page? It's true. It's just fat girl growing up. they got up a fat through. hand that they can't remove from the paper. Yeah, that's <laughs> we not can't good. lift it up. They're, they're too it's weak. Too yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Put that down. Do you want another one? Yeah. Yeah. That's the joke. Fat girls are better at courage. That's just a thought. That's a thought. These are all thoughts. That's what jokes are, Nick. Not, not my world. Um, fat girls are, yeah, these are bullet points, and then you flesh them out on stage. You'll see. Uh-huh. Well. Um, oh, Italian people. Are better at cursive. Old people always say a poem and then make a demand. Like, what am I alone? Italian people sort of use cursive mannerisms. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm saying here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they're they're flourishy. Yeah. The um, Italian people when they this speak, one just they look says like I they... hate rap. Oh okay. Mm. So I don't know what that's all about. I love it. They talk like they're conducting a like a deaf orchestra. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. A lot like of that. gestures. Okay. Let's hear another one. What was the question you wanted to ask Jordan for the interview? I forget. Oh, uh, so you have a lisp, Jordan. I have a lisp, yeah, I think. That's what uh, I hear. Is that because your parents are homosexual? Yeah. It's basically like... It wasn't um, really a joke. It was an interview question to get her to open up what's it called when your family about her members childhood. Hmm? What? What's it called when your family members make Inbreeding? It? Yeah, yeah, it's inbreeding. Lesbianism is inbreeding. Oh, they're siblings. No, they're not siblings, but if a woman... Fucks is that a why woman, they call them scissors sisters? I think so. Yeah. So when two lesbians are together, you make a kid, they're inbred. Oh, Even if they're not related. That's why I have a lisp. 
Well, I didn't know two women could make a baby. I thought you need a nice set of balls to do that. You can't say that anymore. What's that? Yeah. That you need a man and a woman to make a baby. Well, you need just sperm, I guess. Yeah. They could do it if they could just go to a sperm. You need a penis having person <laughs> and a and a, a a pussy having person. A uh-huh. pussy person. Tonight on Tucker. Yeah. Yeah. Lesbians. Can't say that anymore. <laughs> pussy person. Another thing you can't say is boop. He just just says the end. Yeah. Now everything's boop. Yeah. Yeah. Tucker's a famous N word rant. Uh, can we get him on the show? I would love to. I would love to. Mm-hmm. But you think if where we did like your, a hard hitting Charlie you, Rose, where do you right? Get your bow ties. Let me ask you, Tucker. You think if you sat down with the guy that owns Tycoon and Penn Station, mm-hmm. we could sort this all out? <laughs> but that's what Just you. Just a couple of bro, bro, bow tie freaks. But that's what you b- criticize b- 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 me b- 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 for. B- b- what the fuck is going on with my <laughs> fucking head? I can't believe you watched b- the flight b- 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 tracker. B- that's so scary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course he does. He's oh a freak. Wait, but, but that's what you criticize me for. Doing what? You put the joke in the question. He's not actually here. We're doing the podcast right now. I'm just saying. Okay, fine. Once we do the, I don't think Tucker's actually here. Do you want to? Sorry, my opioid. I would like you guys to practice on me with a question. (laughs) I would like you guys to practice on me. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Both of you. Yeah. All right. Go. Um, practice fucking. (laughs) (laughs) I have to practice fucking. That's something I need to do. Really? Yeah, totally. Why? You know when you fuck somebody and you're practice practicing fucking with them? Yeah, you're getting to know their body. No, you like hate them, but you fuck them to, but you you know that they like you, but you just know that you're practicing fucking. No, I make love with people I love typically. I oh. only have sex with people. No, like every you. every every fuck encounter with me is like a tool show. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty thousand yeah. people, lasers, <laughs> fog machines, <laughs> <laughs> aliens doing yoga. <laughs> We're going all out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I only fuck people I hate. But you know when you do that when you're practicing fucking with somebody you hate? That's what I want to get into again. That's better. That's ideal. Uh, have you done I, that? No. Yes, you have. No way. What? Even when you were a great kid? I say I love you before every every time my penis goes in. I say I love you real quick right before. Okay. I don't hate any of them. Like a bless you. They're angels. <laughs> okay. All right. But Food you, for thought. Yeah, maybe you should try that out. Okay, I'll think about it. All right. Have you ever done that? Done what? No. Been in love? Mm. Even if you have... Okay. Yeah. What? Huh? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) This is like one of those movies where we have the guns on each other and we Uh, keep... A Mexican standoff. Yeah, Yeah, a Mexican standoff. A migrant standoff. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I would have done with the Philadelphia question, I would have been like, take me back to Honduras. Right, like Philly stinks. That's what he kept pushing for. Yeah. It was him. I, I wrote all of these, and he sits there, and he's like, this bus full of migrant workers, and then there's like seven vape drags, and he's like, I don't know, something about how like Philly sucks or something. I said stinks. Fresh Prince. That was his con- contribution. Something about how Philly stinks or something. And then he goes, I'm going to take a walk around the block. Why don't you send me what we have so far? Philly does stink. I mean, I like the audiences. They laugh hard, but it is an ugly... It is an ugly... Yeah, I love New Philadelphia. York. It's bizarro, New York. Yeah, it's wild there still. So. It looks yeah. like everybody's gone through a... It's chaotic house. there. Yeah. Yeah. The King and I opens on Broadway this week, uh-huh. with many wondering, what Chinese guy are they going to get to play the king? Uh-huh. Here's our Whose top eyes ten. eyes are going to be open on yeah. these kings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Kang. The king's fucked up eyes. We okay. was Kangs is on Broadway. The Kangs and I? The Kang the and Kang. I. Yeah. <laughs> There's a big temple I went into that was the We Was Kangs. The Egyptian, whatever they're called. The who? The what are they? What is it called? The, the Black Israelites. Yeah, yeah, Black Black Israel. Israel. yeah, yeah. That's where I got Bar Mitzvah, actually. I believe that. We yeah, should go yeah. in there. Yeah. That's where you should do man on the street stuff. We was king. I'm going to open a building right next to theirs, and it's the white black man. It's <laughs> <laughs> white guys that are like, what a real boob. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've been black longer than no, but everybody. <laughs> you, 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 ain't, you ain't been black anywhere goddamn near as long as white people. See, the first one, black people were white. And then blacks came along <laughs> and made themselves black and took black away from us. Uh-huh. And they stole black skin from the white man. Uh-huh. And 
<laughs> just arguing. And they were turned black by the <laughs> yeah. evil, the evil, uh, whatever Yaku yeah, is. Yeah, I'm just wearing a tablecloth yeah, from yeah. PJ Masks. <laughs> <laughs> I got a I got a fucking just candelabra super glued to my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> the real blacks was white man. That's kind of what and Mormons <laughs> believe is that is that the Native Americans were turned brown for yeah. their sins. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I know Mormons Remember the kid that. in school would point to a mole and be like, "See, that I'm black, and the rest is a birthmark." Remember that kid? Mm-hmm. I still do that. You still do that? Yeah, yeah. People love it. It's funny That's that black one. people can get vitiligo. And it makes their life worse. Uh-huh. I was on the you road with I mean? Ryan Donahue once, and he got so stressed out that he, bam, got vitiligo on his eye. Yeah. It's crazy. Never seen yeah, like he it? didn't always have that. I no, thought, he didn't always yeah, have yeah, yeah. it. He got his headphones and his laptop and his backpack stolen, and poof, vitiligo. Yeah. It was crazy. Never so he, much of his shit gets stolen, and his body is like, I have to turn more white <laughs> so this doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I have to protect myself. I have to become even whiter. <laughs> Elizabeth, are you okay? Elizabeth. What? You look like you're gearing up. No, nothing. No. Looks like you're getting ready. Yeah, sometimes I just go catatonic and I don't really know what's going on. Yeah, your eyelids fall. You do or me? Yeah. No, you both do. No, I'm pondering. I'm deep in thought. Yeah, you go and your eyelids drop halfway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what I was uh, thinking. Oh, sorry. What were you thinking? Were you going to be mean about it or no, encouraging? I'll be encouraging. I thought the bug is the bug is is uh stepping up these days. Huh? But that's not what I was thinking. Uh they called the Bosley Hair Institute. But like wouldn't it be funny if it was like a bunch of like German philosopher guys with their like hands behind their back pondering hair? Uh-huh. Yeah. Like the Frankfurt School. Yeah, like the thing. Frankfurt School, yeah. yeah. It was the Bosley hair. Yeah, but they're thinking about it. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. That's a bit it's fun kind sketch. of more of a, like a sketch, I think. Mm. Than a you joke. had to demonstrate to the audience that you know the Frankfurt School. Well, I didn't even come up with that. You did. Yeah, but you you said a bunch of Germans. Well, yeah, like a uh, an institute, right? Uh, so, Frankfurt yeah. School. That's like qu- colloquial. That's like the Stanford Prison Experiment. That's like yeah, name I think, I think comedians say to yeah, yeah, yeah indicate that they're uh, you know Bukowski. Do people talk about Bukowski? People drop the word Bukowski here and there. Yeah, totally. Yeah, like middle schoolers. Yeah. All right. People Bukowski, that like Bukowski. first got into SIGs. Bukowski's for yeah. children. Yeah, it's for babies. Frankfurt School? You think that's for? For grown-ups? Yeah, it's more grown-up. Bukowski's right. like Barney, all, all German thought is for adults. Yeah. I don't know. I don't Nietzsche? know about all of their thoughts. All of it. None no, of I don't know about the, all of it. Everything. All of it, especially the good. No, no, come on, brother. Especially the culmination of German thought. No, come on. It's man. so funny that that's what that's what the fucking enlightenment led to is Hitler. <laughs> it makes sense. It's very funny. It makes a lot of sense. I don't know. I remember about reading that. all that German philosophy shit and thing. I remember being like, I remember reading Nietzsche and Hegel and all that shit and being like, I can control people's minds. Mm. And I would have these poker games and I would be like, I can, I'm going to take all of these people's money. And I would lose it, but I'd be like, that's because I don't. That's because money will cor- corrupt me. Mm. That's why. Mm-hmm. But I, all German. So that's like the Holocaust you. to you? Yeah, totally. If you read German philosophy, it makes you into the Ubermensch thing. It makes you think that you're like, all, almighty. Yeah. Because it's basically like, don't let anybody tell you you're less. And that's what Hitler did mm. with the Jews. Well, he told Jews they were less. Right. That's what I'm saying. Oh, but don't let them say you're less. Right. Rid the world of anything yeah, lesser yeah. than you. He just took it to the extreme. So you think the Holocaust was a good idea? I'm not saying it was Nick a good idea. Because Nick and I are anti. We're anti. Oh, anti. you guys are anti. anti. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. What? Me too. Huh? You're anti what? Huh? What do you mean? Costco's finally brought the samples back. COVID's over. The King and I's on Broadway. Mm. Uh huh. Well, I was kind of trying to hope one of you guys would take it from there. Oh, no. Sometimes it's, that's what I do is I'll just say something <laughs> and hope it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just did it with the Costco thing. <laughs> I'll just say something and then people laugh at me because they think I'm having a stroke. Can't bulk section at Whole Foods isn't back yet, so COVID's still going on. Yeah. Because that's how I probably lost 60 pounds from that closing down. There's bagged cereal. You eat canned bulk items? Bulk candy. 
Oh, candy. Oh, well, candy. Bulk candy. I thought you said can. Yeah, no, I thought you said you got candy. fat off beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's like a hobo. Yeah, grabbing yeah. beans yeah. with my hands. Loose beans. Bulk, yeah. wet mm-hmm. beans. You know in jail, that's what they give you? Just wet beans and a Rice Krispie Treat? Yeah. I was thinking about that's that. That's not the only thing they give you. Yeah. You also a get, holy Quran. You also get fucked in your ass. Yeah. That's the other thing they give yeah. you. <laughs> You also get you also get bent over and anally raped. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's no fun. You also get an anal fissure from a penis that's larger than your anus mm-hmm. uh-huh. penetrating through your body. Yeah. No, I've never gotten a fissure actually. Yeah. Really never? No, they call my butthole the unsinkable Adam's butthole. They they yeah. actually they they have guys in prison that just call condoms and they have to they they put you on. Is that real? And then you're just they you, they never <laughs> take you off. They yeah. just walk around. They with just you. walk around. You just get dragged in between some guy's legs. <laughs> <laughs> He's my cock ring. That's, that's the worst guy to be in jail is the condom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then they shove you into another guy's ass. Wow. And you're just you're in some guy's ass. And then sometimes you slip off. It sounds like living in Philadelphia to yeah. me. You at the Come Town show the other day, or the sorry, the Come On Over. It's, it come Town's over. What is it called? Angry moms, uh, funny moms, funny moms joke. When you I went came up with the name jail along. rant, but that was really funny. That was good. That I've was done <laughs> that again, and it, it works. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Adam, Adam loves telling me about how well his <laughs> new jokes are going. No, uh, actually not. No, I keep it from you. He's like, yeah. To be honest, I did fifteen new jokes last night. He really did an hour and a half the other day. I'm sure, he did. I did a long people. time. Yeah. But where's the humility? It was good. But where's the where's the he wants shame. you to be proud of him. No, I'm actually quite confident when you're he not learning. He wants you proud, to know how good Grady did. Once we have this show going. But yeah, I'm saying too. Yeah. I'm proud of you, buddy. I'm just fucking. Thank you. I'm, I'm just in this stay. limbo space where I'm just in the in the mediocrity zone. And what's that mean? What are you talking about? Right now? You weren't before a- you guys get the show going? What? Is that what you're saying to me? Mediocrity. I brought this lizard in. And that's what you're trying to tell me? See that guy? Oh, it looks like a member of the Jewish media. They tell you if you have abandonment issues, you should have it carry around a little guy like this. A little lizard Give her this to your little BPD girls. They like that. No. They just say that it helps. It soothes you. Nick gives them uh, something else. To hold on to. A knuckle sandwich. His own little lizard. I'm going to bring back domestic violence. <laughs> Do it. It's time. They well, it's, at a certain point, it'll cross over and become like vintage. You know For sure. I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. It already seems like that to me, like a like a fifties thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, hey, where you going dressed like that, you fucking whore? And she's like, work. Why are you wearing tap like getting into shit? swing revival? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why, why, why are you dressed in a pinstripe suit? And you're like, you're about to find out, you dumb bitch. <laughs> And then you're in therapy later, just couples counseling. You're like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know what happened to him. I don't know. Ray Liotta died. And I, just, <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking, I was missing, you know, just the way it used to be. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to the Adam Friedland Show. The Hopefully, Adam Friedland Show. Hopefully, at the very least, you enjoyed the monologue. Oh, yeah, we'll see you Wednesday. Bye.